three days ago, Pete received devastating news about his brother Andrew. Apparently they found some sort of cancerous cells in his in his urine, so I don't know what's going on. I have to find out. Yeah. All right, I'll speak to you tomorrow. Bye. What's the, what's the treatment for it? Oh. It's Saturday the 11th of February and Pete's just got back from Zanzibar. The only thing on his mind is brother Andrew, who's 10,000 miles away in Australia. Well, that's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping it's treatable. I'm so hoping that it's... All we need, all we need is good news from Andrew. We don't know how serious this is, but they found something that could potentially be very dangerous. So, you know, we were supposed to be booked to go to Los Angeles this week to start recording the album, but we're in the middle of, we're in the middle of signing the contract for that. And Claire said, look, we've got 10 days. So the kids are not with me next week because of half term. This half term, they're not with me. So I've said, right, I'm going. Pete will be flying out tomorrow, but until then, he's determined to put a brave face on for his children. Pistols? Yeah. I love you, babes. Love you too. As Valentine's Day is just around the corner, Pete's decided it would be fun to make each other a card. Fister, you've got to write Happy Valentine's Day. I don't know how to write it. No. So you go down How many days am I going back to my house? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? We change this one into a... Babes, you know I have to go to Australia, don't you? What, you are? Yeah, because if? Uncle Andrew is not well. Andrew's in a different country and his mum is there to look after him. So. Not his other brother, he's got his mum, proper mum. Junior, there is nothing that stronger in life yeah. than family. Yes, I know what's stronger. Just what? colour in the heart and this the one. Incredible then. heart. Yeah. No, a rock. Massive rock. What does it say, Junior? Love from Princess. Give her a kiss, dude. She's sis, man. I'm going to go you a kitchen now, Daddy. It's Sunday afternoon and Pete's heading to the airport. He's jetting off to Oz to see his brother, Andrew, who has no idea he's coming. Don't you know that I'll be around He's leaving the UK behind and his manager Claire with a headache. Everything's just really on hold and it is a manager's absolute nightmare. He's due to be coming back on Thursday. I don't know if, if he will come back at the end of the week. I don't know if he'll stay another week. I am very worried about the album. I'm very worried about the tour. I'm very worried about lots of things, but put all that into a box. His brother needs him and whatever happens, I'll support Pete, I'll change his itinerary around his work round for as long as I possibly can. For Pete, family always comes first and he's dropped everything to be with his brother Andrew in Brisbane. We don't know how serious it is, we're going to know more tomorrow. So me and Michael jumped on a plane to come and see him. He has no idea. So we'll see what happens, but hope to God that he's okay. This, that would be just the best, the best news ever. So yeah, so we're going to head back now. Um, let's do it. Don't, don't 
won't let that long. Tomorrow, Andrew is going to hospital for tests, and Pete will be right by his side. Where is he? I think the doctor's here for you, Andrew. No. Come on, mate. <laughs> We want to be with you tomorrow. <laughs> you only have to cook it. Yeah. 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 Hang out for a bit, man. We want to be All right, with you okay, tomorrow, that's man. not the best look I've ever seen. There's someone doing it. Come here, mate. Come here. <laughs> 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 Hey, we're going to be with you all day tomorrow. I can't believe this. Look, let me look go. At this. Look at Please. this. Please. Mark, <laughs> look at this, dude. Oh, because he was I was, in the middle I of was his hair. shaving my oh. hair when they came in. He said to me, the doctor's here to see me. I thought, what? Uh, we're home. Oh, it's good to be back home. I had absolutely no idea. Face to face with Andrew at last, Pete can get a better idea of how he's feeling. I've got three different medications. One that I was on, but they said that could thin the blood out a little bit. But I'm still taking them because I've just got to get through. I just have and to get what, through. And what, what do they think the worst case scenario is? If it is related to the kidney, right kidney, then it's the removal of yeah. the kidney. Well, that's, there's lots of things. That's to me the best case scenario because a removal of the kidney is not the worst thing in the world. Look, you'll find out tomorrow. And every time we can pop in, we're just, Mikey wanted to be here so much as well. Chris and Danny did, of course, but they couldn't. Um, no, you didn't need to do this, though. We do. We want to we wanna be there with you because we're so sure that it's going to be good news, that we want to be there when you get your good news, that it's... Because this is never... We've never heard of this kind of thing in our family. That's what's, you know... That's what's like the worry. Coming up, Pete tries to keep spirits up. He's definitely great. Yeah. <laughs> Before his world comes crashing down. He's been struck with a horrible, horrible, horrible disease. Pete's flown out to his parents' house in Australia to support his brother Andrew, who's been suffering with unexplained pain for weeks. Cancer cells have been discovered in his urine, and today doctors will investigate further. Are you, how are you feeling today, mate? I'm relieved that, that something might happen today, that just as closure, we know what's going on. So. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's one of those days where we, we're just hoping that we've been worrying about nothing. Look, say goodbye to Mum for me, OK? Yeah, I will. I won't go and give her a kiss. Just say goodbye and I'll, see. I'll speak to you all later. Although today's results could be life-changing, Andrew is feeling calm. No nerves, no nothing, just relief that this day has finally come. It's important for me to know what's going on, basically. And I hope it's serious enough that they can actually do something about it very quickly because I don't want to be living with this pain. It's affecting my home life, it's affecting you know, work, it's affecting everything. It's just, it's not a good situation to be in. Andrew's now under the care of the doctors and Pete will have to wait it out. So we've just come out of the hospital and um, they're gonna do, they won't allow us in the anaesthetic room or anything like that. What we do know is under anaesthetic, he's going to have the best sleep he's had in a long oh. time. With time on his hands, Pete finds himself drawn to a familiar place. It's where we used to swim, mate, when we were growing up. Yup. Rainbow Bay. Mate, our childhood was spent here so much, so much. I'm out of touch, I'm out of love, I'll pick you up when you're getting down. And so I'll tell you where England is, that way. I'm out of sight, I'm out of mind, 
My one foot there is 10 minutes to 12, and here is 10 minutes to 1 in the afternoon. After three hours, Pete returns to the hospital. We have no idea if he's out of um, sedation. We don't know what they found. But, you know, hopefully, hopefully the news we get is good news. That's, that would just be fantabla munda wundo. So, let's go have a look. I'll pick you up when you're getting down. And out of all these things I've done, I will love you better now. Having spoken to the doctors, it's been left to Mike to share the results. Um, yeah, unfortunately, we haven't had really great news about Andrew, and um, we just want to like have some time to collect our thoughts as a family right now. So I hope you don't mind that none of us are going to want to talk about this right now. Okay? All right. Cheers. Yesterday, doctors confirmed the family's worst fears. Andrew has kidney cancer. He'll need an operation to remove the kidney, and it's uncertain if the cancer has spread. Despite doing his best to stay strong, it's hit Pete hard. Today's gonna be the day that they're gonna give it back to you. So yesterday we, we got not very great news. That's all for Andrew, and um, we were all sort of in quite a bit of shock, so we needed some time yesterday. And we spent yesterday, most of yesterday and last night, sort of just talking, and we're praying to God that when he has his operation, they get rid of everything. You know, it's a tough time for us as a family right now. The only thing that we can all do is just make sure that Andrew is just has is having the best time. It's uh, he's been struck with a horrible, horrible, horrible disease. Uh, it's not something we want to even think about. You know what I mean? After a day spent dealing with the news, the family have decided to come together for a barbie. But Pete's concerned about Andrew. You got pain, mm. and what, what, what are they going to do? Do you feel bloated? I do. Yep. That's the, that's the. I can tell. No, no, it's beautiful afternoon. So I've just got to get through now till next Thursday or whatever. Woohoo! Is that what? Next. Bar. Yeah. Don't want to talk about it. Let's just. No, 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 no. Sorry. Yeah. No, just. Thanks, Dad. Oh, yeah. I'll be right back. You're going to be great, ma'am. And we're going to need to celebrate. I'm wondering what day I have to get the big bottle of champers so we can have a bit of a celebration. There's never been a more important time to say to your health. To your health so, to your health, Andrew. And we're all here together, and we love you to bits. It's Sunday morning, and Pete's determined to keep Andrew from dwelling on the news, so he's organised a surprise. We've decided to do a day out with the fam, as you see them. This is Andrew's daughter, Tia, and she's absolutely gorgeous, and my mum, of course. The only thing I'm confused about is how I ended up holding a bag that says Australia's number one selling wax. That's not good. That's not good. It's very... Should we give one of them a coffee? Could you imagine? I remember. It'd be like this. They are. Mum, don't please people come from the world. Mum, have you ever held a koala? She's scared. Ah, oh, it's just a baby. She won't hurt that. It's beautiful. Wherever Pete goes, so do his fans. But they're not quite as young as they used to be. 
Let me sit. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you all. But one old bird is less impressed. You know what? Go and get your own food. He's definitely great. He's out cold. Look at him. <laughs> hey, buddy. You're gorgeous, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. I'll definitely go and find you on there. <laughs> Temperatures uh, looking great in Australis at the moment, and uh, Australis. Yeah, basically looking great. Dude, at the flies. Moment. Dude, that hurts your. I try it. Try it. Try it. Tell me it doesn't hurt your eyes. Ah! Oh, fine, yeah. It's not for oh, flies, ladies stings. and gentlemen. It's just show yeah, that sure. Australian men are very strong. Can we take one of them? And uh, we, no, basically, we don't, uh, whatever, well, whatever it is. I don't know what it is. Pete's been doing his very best to keep the mood positive, but he's noticed that Andrew is starting to struggle. And today he's been out and about, but I'm starting to see he's getting tired. And we're constantly thinking, is he enjoying it? Is he happy? Is he OK? Is it too much for him? You know, and you're like that all day. But you just can't help but thinking that he's carrying this, this cancer inside him, you know? <laughs> just like the children, look at them. It might be all fun and laughter today, but tomorrow Andrew will return to hospital to find out if the cancer has spread. Tomorrow is a day that they're going to tell us what's happening. And hopefully they uh, finish what they believe to be the problem. I hope so. What are you doing? It's Monday morning and Pete's up early, ready to accompany Andrew on the trip to hospital. Hmm. All right. Today's as good a day as any. Let's hope, hope, hope. It doesn't get more serious than this, but nothing dampens the Andre sense of humor. Um. What do you call a pervert ant? I don't know what. A deviant. <laughs> what do you call a religious ant? A protestant. Mm. An ant with lots of brains is intelligent. Uh, what do you call an ant that just goes on and on and on? Peter Antre. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, I've been feeling sick all the way through the car. It's I've just been, been we've been going it's jokes been. and telling jokes, but your gut is just twisting constantly. It's well, like, we'll know, God. we'll know a li little more. A little in, more in, in, in the next couple of hours. Yeah. So let's go, big brother. After a couple of hours, Andrew's back with some news. Um, probably good news. Um, however, there's a dark mass of tissue immediately above the kidney that the scan shows as an abnormality, but they're not sure what that means in real terms. So when they do the operation on Thursday, they'll be taking some of that out to be able to do an assessment on it. Whether it's cancerous or not, they don't know yet. Now, Andy's going to have his operation, and hopefully that's going to remove the cancer. And we won't know anything. It's a Monday now, the 20... What is it? Was it 20th? It's the 20th today. 20th of February. We're not going to know until his birthday. My birthday. On the 27th. Seven days seven. is the day I'm going to find out if he's got the all clear. And believe me, if he has... I'm going to call a couple of girls. <laughs> Although Andrew is facing major surgery to remove his kidney later in the week, for now, everyone can breathe a sigh of relief. Love Australia. 
But we're all in a bit of a better mood now. The way to do it. Old school, I love it. Listen, I know, I know that he's not out of the woods yet, but the sense of relief that's come over us over the last few hours from him getting a result that they seem, it seems to be contained within one area is great news. Everyone's in great spirits. I mean, look at him smiling. So we're just going to have a bit of a celebration. I know, I know this Thursday's the operation, but chances are he will, he will beat it. And that to, to us is like, Ripper, dude. Ripper. Coming up, Pete's pushed to breaking point. This is as dangerous as it gets. But he's soothed by the sweet sound of his kids. A week ago, Pete dropped everything and flew to Australia to be by his brother's side. With the encouraging news about Andrew's condition, Pete's decided it's the right time to fly home to his kids. We now know that the chances are, chances are that they're gonna get everything out. So I can leave with that thought. You know what, we've come to a point where we got something from the doctor that we needed to know. Um, of course, he's still gonna have two major operations tomorrow, but but even that, he has to stay in for four or five days and I would, I would have to go back in the next couple of days anyway. So that's the plan. Pete will be catching a flight later tonight and he can't wait to break the news to Junior. Hello. Hey, Jay, I'm coming home. I'm getting on an aeroplane now. All right, I really honestly cannot wait to see you. You have no idea. I miss you so much. And this weekend, I'm going to take you somewhere because I want to have a bit of fun, OK? Because you know Uncle Andrew has been very poorly, don't you? No, you get bitten by a snake. No, Andrew didn't get bitten by a snake, but he has got something. He's very poorly, Junior, but he's going to be OK. Pete's been putting on a brave face for everybody this week, but behind closed doors, it's been taking an emotional toll. You know, this is my, um, my hyperventilation bag. Does it work for you? Yeah, well, when I... Mate, the other night was my first anxiety attack in yeah. over a year. But that's because of all this. I just want to see you, you know. Brother, listen, yeah. please, please be strong through all of it. I have to, brother. I have to. I you have will, to. You'll beat it. You'll beat it and you'll be one of the people that will... You will be one of the people that will say, I beat it, I beat cancer. Let's just wait till Monday. Well, no, let's get okay. this thing out of it tomorrow. Bye, brother. And we'll find out how it goes. Monday. Love you, man. I love you too. Dude, don't Thank like you. the hairy shoulders, though. Don't hairy Thank shoulders you. are killing me. Okay. I'll see you in a couple of months when he's better and we're all going to go to okay. Cairns and do some fishing, okay? All right, you'll. Oh. Filo I will, man. Huh? Good luck. Yeah. All right. And um, be strong, yeah? Yeah. And um, brush your teeth. And... <laughs> oh, Good man. luck, brother. We'll be waiting and hoping and praying. Yeah. All right? Yeah. Okay? Yeah, we'll be good. Of course it will be. Take care, man. Mm. And we'll be having this conversation in one day's time when you're back in England. We want the word cancer to turn to cancel. Pete's done exactly what he set out to do, support his brother and the whole family through one of the toughest times of their lives. Is this one, is this one a, this is, is a, this a get a room hug? I love you, man. I love you too, man. Listen, I can't tell you, you know, we'll be thinking about you constantly, brother. I know. I know, brother, and me likewise. You're gonna be fine. More than 24 hours after saying their goodbyes, Pete and Mike arrive at Gatwick. Around, down, all I see is 
during a stopover in Dubai, Pete was landed with a bombshell. News that Andrew's cancer is far worse than was first thought. I wanted to come back, we wanted to come back and be smiling and unfortunately, we got to Dubai and we were hit with some absolute terrible news. So me and Mike are in a bit of a state at the moment. There's, not good, man. Not no, good, it's not. not it's not. There's my brother. Been better, brother. Hey, mate. How are you? Hey, guys. You're not the best, best. but. Yeah. at the moment. The day, the day before we left, the doctors checked all the scans and said, we think it's all contained. This is great news. You know, thinking everything was going to be fine, got on the plane, got to Dubai, and then I got the call that the cancer spread and, you know, it's in his lymph nodes and this is like, this is as dangerous as it gets. And now his chances are not good. That's good. So anyway, I'm gonna go home. It's been a couple of days. We've got to decide whether we're gonna put, you know, I want to bring him here to be with me. We're gonna decide. Come bro, we'll go home, yeah? No, no, I know, I know. No. Let's do it. So we'll see you in a couple of days because I just need some time to be with be with the little ones. It's Wednesday the 29th of February and Pete has been holed up at home with his brothers trying to come to terms with the news about Andrew. Out of a out of a stage of cancer, one, one being the uh, least likely to be fatal, and four being the hardest, he's got he's on stage four now. Um, we still just don't know how it's all happened. It's just hit us like a ton of bricks. And Pete, being the emotional person that he is already, he's um he's been an emotional wreck over it. Pete might be going through hell but there are two people relying on him to hold it together. I'm free! I'm free! We're going in the house now. They're back. I think my son may have <laughs> ODed a little bit on sugar. Hey, how you doing, man? Well, sorry. Didn't mean to say it, didn't mean to step on your turf, man. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. I'm backing off. Can you get yourself dressed? I'll see you downstairs. I'll Hurry see up. Vista, how you doing? You You're not wearing just that. I'm wearing some tights. Oh, I don't want to squash you. Why is it I want to squash her and with you I want to squash too? What's with the squash? There's a lot of squash. Do you kids want a drink of squash? See what I mean? You, my time's up, guys. My time is up, babe. Stop showing off again. See? That's it. It's... Show off again. Never one to shy away from a challenge, Pete decides to tackle some homework. Come here, pups. Oi! Smelly boo head. Oh, daddy. <laughs> Right. <laughs> right, ready? I want you to write. Mm -hmm. I went for a walk and try and join it together and do a C here. You didn't do the C. Okay. Oh. Making it like Jedward. No, really, we don't want to do that, Bista. Yes. No, no, we really don't want to make Dad. it like Jedward. Dad. Princess said she wants to marry Justin Bieber. Baby, 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 baby. oh, don't you know? Baby, 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 baby. 
The thing is, as I'm as they're getting older, look. You're showing off. I can't. You're showing off. <laughs> you are. <laughs> no, yucks. <laughs> Bye, let me go. Hey. Road manager and good friend Carl has popped in to offer some much-needed support. Um, yeah, like I've, I'll tell you lots. Oh, it... that's nice. What's that? Chanel Blue. Do you like it? Over coffee, Pete sharing the decision he's made about Andrew. Wherever he goes, the treatments, you know. Oh, are you on about bringing him over here? I'm going to bring him here. I want to bring him home, man. I want to look after him. I want him to go through his chemo here so we're all here, the brothers. Yeah. I can't cope with him being over there because it's making me really stressed out. Every day I'm thinking, and mum and dad, mate, they're like heading to their 80s. They can't be, they can't be seeing their son yeah. going through this. It's just wrong. I, I think, you know what? I'm, he's going to be the one guy, he can beat this. He's going to do it. It was Pete's birthday two days ago, but he didn't feel like celebrating. Done. We need two eggs. We've got no eggs. Oh, yeah, we do. Are you silly, Daddy? Yeah, a little bit. Not wanting his kids to miss out, he's roped in Carl to help bake a birthday cake. Because honestly, Dad... What are you doing? I'm no, 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 let me show you a trick. It's called a cartouche. It's called a cartouche. I know that. I'm going to be extremely impressed. Cartouche. He's clever, isn't he? Yeah, he is clever. She is love. Yay, dude! Oh, yum! It's obviously very difficult right now because um, what, what the family's going through. You, you, you know, Pete's, Pete wants to be strong for everybody, but I, I think he sort of forgets about himself when he's, when he's trying to do that. And at some point, if he, takes, if, he, if he keeps taking everybody's problems in, or if he keeps trying to comfort everybody, he's going to crumble at some point. Because I, I can guarantee you now why he's just stood over there. He'll be, he'll be at the back of his head, he'll be thinking about it. And he's a deep, deep thinker. Who wants oh, some? Me, 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 me. You're first. Can I be second? Yes, you can. It's actually been good today. It's picked us up a bit. All of us, just the madness of the house, it's all been good, you know? The kids are the best distraction and they tell you how it is. Let me tell you. And I love it. And the thing is, you can't be moping around and you've got to be upbeat and you've got to be given, you know. I mean, it's hard because obviously on the back of my mind constantly is something that I, you know, but we're all together and we're all hanging out and I'm really, really happy and, you know. Nice. It's 10.30 at night. Tomorrow, Peter's promised to return to work, but after Skyping Andrew, he's having second thoughts. I know, I know it sounds bad and I never do this, but there was something I had to do tomorrow morning work-wise and I just, I just don't want to do it. I just almost wish that there could just be a two week lull period where I didn't have to sort of do, I just not, I don't feel ready to go. I know it sounds weird because it's, it's selfish, like I said, because it's not me going through it, but 
I don't feel like doing anything. Coming up, Pete fights back. We've been hit with a sledgehammer, so what are we going to do about it? We're just going to sit there and take it? Nope, we're going to fight now. And decides to take action. You're going to live with your bro, dude. For the hard times, people say you got to be strong. It's Thursday the 1st of March and Pete's at home with his brother Chris, preparing for his first day back at work. Last night, Pete came close to cancelling everything, but today he's had a change of heart. Look, I'm not, I'll be honest with you, I'm not in the mood to do anything, but I actually think that's quite selfish. I think that's really selfish to be that way. We're all, we're all taking it pretty hard, the bros. But, um, you know, we've all got to, we've all got to, we, we have to, we've got no choice but to be strong. We've got absolutely no choice but to be strong. And I'm not alone these hard times. Pete's heading to London to guest on a new TV show. But first, he wants to see his brother Danny, who works in the family coffee shop. How you doing, brother? Good, man. What's happening? Good to you. just going to go through pain. Yeah, he was, I spoke to him today. He was in a lot of pain. It's the first time Pete's faced the public since the news broke about Andrew's illness. Thank you. Sorry to hear about your brother this well. Yeah, so thank you. Be all right, just because well, yeah, yeah, it's not been good uh, lately. There's, it's progressed quite a bit, but we've just got to, we just got to do what we can. Do ever, do Pete's do now running late, but now. Carl's treading carefully. I don't want to try and ride his arse like Zaro too much today. Because obviously, what is his head's here, but it's not here. Yeah. It's like a big black cloud. That's why coming here sometimes just cheers me up. Yeah. I've got to go to work in London, but yeah. just being here is like nice. Think of them babies of yours. Too. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Thanks, Chris. Chris, yeah. Daddy, <laughs> this is what Daddy's going to do when he's got energy. Chris, look, look. Jump. We're going to do this. A few punches, and then the moonwalk. <laughs> After a Danny pick-me-up, Pete's ready to take on anything. We're strong. We're strong as a family and we've been hit with a sledgehammer. So what are we going to do about it? We're just going to sit there and take it? Nope, we're going to fight now. Pete's arrived at the television studios, and with Gemma from management, they head to the dressing room to meet host Paddy McGuinness. No, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm all but moon you're on, no, it's going to be I'm great. All, I'm it's all but moon, really I'm, I'm really good, pleased. Thank you, and I hope, I hope we make it as fun as your your oh, own. Right. It's yeah. funny, because my wife, I said, uh, <clears throat> I tell her who, who's on, and she said, who's on? And I went, Peter, Andre, and Vinnie Jones, it, all of a sudden, the interest <laughs> goes up, you know, like, oh, I might come yeah, to that, and I'm like, yeah, all right. Well, I've got yeah, plenty of good people on the guest list. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, I'll leave you to Thanks, it. All right, I'll see you in a bit, see you in a bit. See you, Paddy. personal. It'd be good to meet Vinnie Jones as well. So I'm going to go and do the show now, should be a bit of a laugh. Um, something to cheer us all up. You'll be fine. You'll be yeah, 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 yeah. It'd be great. It'd be good fun. So I'm gonna go and do that now. I'll let you know how it goes. Peter, if you could tease or anyone, who would it be? <laughs> why would you even ask? <laughs> and why did everyone laugh? <laughs> we'll move on, shall we? The public Pete always delivers, but the performance has left him feeling drained and desperate to speak to Andrew. Hey brother, you feeling better today? We're gonna do everything. We're all with you, we're all gonna support you all the way. 
You're gonna live with your bro, dude. Just stay positive for me because we're all positive here. We all know that we're gonna have you in tip top. I love you, man. Bye, brother. He doesn't sound great, but... But you know, I still can't believe this is happening. I still... I still don't believe it. It just doesn't seem real. It's gone midnight and Pete's at home. He won't be able to rest until Andrew is by his side, so he's decided to make an important call. OK, how much is a first class from Brisbane to London? Right now, we're booking the flights for Andy to come over uh, to be with us. So we're booking a flight for three weeks from today. We just can't wait to get him out here. No, no, don't, please don't thank me, Andrew. Just get better, dude. You can't... Yeah, don't waste your energy on thank yous and thank yous and thank yous. Just get here. All right? All right, you're the, you're the best. Bye, man. Bye. Hello? Hey. Oh. Hey. Hey, no. This is it. They're coming. But and we still got to face the facts that Andrew is going to go through an incredible, incredibly horrific chemo. And... We, we believe that if someone can beat this, Andrew can beat it. You know, he's one of those guys, he can beat things. And, you know, I know they've told us that this is not curable, but he can beat anything. He's, he, you know, you have to have faith. Good song by George Michael. It's true, You've gotta have faith. Next time. Yes, I got it. Pete tries to stay positive. To Andrew. Hey. An old flame reminds him what he could have had. Could have got the ghetto, he forgot the souls. I don't know what you're talking about. Listen, I didn't let you go. You were bored. And Pete proves he's still got it when it comes to the ladies. I don't want to interrupt the party. See, this is where Carl gets a bit jealous. Oh, does he? Yeah, oh, he's see. seen me with three lovely ladies oh, talking. Oh, Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Oh, that's marvellous. Thank you very much. The more you look at it, the more scarier it is.